Even though many of you are already looking forward to my videos covering Cyberpunk 2077 and Red Dead Redemption 2, I thought it would make sense to provide an explanation why the frame rate target we are aiming at at the deckverse is called the Golden 40 and not let's say 45 or 50. For this, I first have to go briefly into the basics, even though most of you already know this. Different screens, including the Steam Deck's display, offer different refresh rates. The most common ones right now in the gaming scene utilize 60Hz or 144Hz. In other words, those displays can refresh the image 144 or 60 times per second, providing new information for your eyes. Up to now, most commercial TVs even only work at 60Hz, which at this point we all got used to. You remember, they can render new information up to 60 times per second. In mathematical terms, this translates into a new image every 16.6 milliseconds. That's the frame time. However, games have become more and more demanding in terms of graphics, and video game consoles, for example, might not always be able to deliver 60 frames per second. And that's why they have decided to then stick to the lower frame rate of 30 FPS. And yes, those won't supply every refresh of the TV with new content, but they at least can cover every second frame. This consistency is more comfortable for the viewer. Although at 30 FPS only every 35.3 milliseconds a new image is rendered. And consistency is key, especially when player input is involved. Theoretically, it still takes 33.3 milliseconds from the moment you press a button until the result of your action is visible on the screen. But given this value doesn't randomly change, it won't feel like the output is stuttering. That's what we call frame pacing. That's also the reason why 60 FPS is considered as the perfect frame rate by many. Since not all games can reach 60 FPS on all platforms and most importantly hold it consistently, you are usually forced to make compromises. Better graphics quality, for instance like denser foliage, higher view distance or simply a cleaner image, or a smoother gaming experience with a higher frame rate but less fancy visual appeal. While other video game consoles increasingly offer a choice between image quality and high frame rates, in the case of the Steam Deck there's another point to keep in mind. Of course, you can opt for either the lowest quality settings to achieve the most responsive gameplay or the highest possible quality settings at an acceptable frame rate and go for it. However, since the Steam Deck is basically a handheld gaming PC, we sadly have to keep the limited battery life in mind. What's the point of having a state-of-the-art gaming experience waiting for you in your backpack if the device only lasts 30 minutes? And that's where the Golden 40 comes into play. A frame rate of 40 FPS offers a frame time of 25 milliseconds. That's exactly halfway in between the frame times of 30 and 60 FPS. So even though the Steam Deck only has to provide additional 10 FPS, the real experience is actually closer to 60 FPS. This also means that the hardware consumes less power. In some rare cases, 40 FPS actually only consumes 1 watts more than 30 FPS. 60 FPS on the other hand, which usually can't even be kept stable, will definitely bring the Steam Deck to its power limit in most situations. This can be pushed even further with additional tweaks like limiting the TDP through the quick menu to gain more precious battery life. Oh, and last but not least, the Steam Deck's refresh rate can be lowered from 60 to 40 Hz in single steps, unlike on many other devices. In other words, in case of 40 FPS as target frame rate, we even have a panel that can display new information for our eyes with every new refresh which again feels much smoother and more responsive. If you then utilize, for instance, a game's VSync option, you can flatten the frame pacing even further, since it then caps the FPS automatically to the panel's refresh rate. There's also the option to resort to an in-engine frame rate limiter some games offer, or even limit the FPS through the DEX quick menu. But which one of these three options actually is the best differs from game to game, since this will introduce input lag in some cases. Of course, that's a thing I will try to address in all of my videos. 40 FPS at 40 Hz has at least three core advantages. A 40 FPS limit, for instance, results in 30 minutes more playtime off of a nearly fully charged battery in the 2018's action adventure below. It's overall easier to maintain 40 FPS in some games, and therefore, you're more likely to benefit from a better frame pacing thanks to a rock solid frame time of 25 milliseconds. And last but not least, even if the deck could provide solid 60 frames per second, limiting the frame rate to 40 frees up more resources, which can for example be used to increase the visual quality of your game. One more thing, 
I am fully aware that the Steam Deck being a handheld device, the battery life is also an important factor. However, with the Golden 40 I always try to achieve the best overall gaming experience. The right balance of graphics quality and performance so to speak, so it's not intended to get the most out of your deck's battery. Apart from that, you can always simply turn down all quality settings of your game completely and limit the frame rate to 30 fps to lower the power consumption. Still, I think my preset provides a good starting point for your own tweaks. This is just the tip of the iceberg since the deck also offers options to limit the CPU, GPU and even the TDP itself. With the help of third party plugins you can push things even further, but that's something I would like to discuss in a separate video. And there you have it. My explanation video ends with an important disclaimer though. Despite everything, each person's perception is different. Which is why the Golden 40 is surely not the perfect frame rate for everyone. However, the preset is definitely a good start to work with. You can always adjust the settings up or down depending on your needs and goals. And that, my friends, is the beauty of having options. I hope I was successfully able to give you some insight. Thank you for your time. And if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and maybe even consider joining our Discord community. All links in the video description below.